am Catherine Kennett. I am a psychiatry registrar in CAM Psychiatry, so Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. I work in North London at the Tavistock Clinic and this video is about antidepressant medication. It is a very brief overview um, but hopefully it will be helpful and give you a structure to your revision. Anti uh, antidepressants and antipsychotics are really common questions to be asked in written exams so hopefully you'll get your knowledge um, up to scratch and it will feel easy in the exam. They're also really good, I like these medications, I find them very useful. So, antidepressants, these are my crib sheets, I hope that that's legible. So, um, antidepressants, the way of thinking about it is SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and others. So SSRIs work really, really well. They're all quite similar in terms of their side effect profile and what they are good at. I've got a little way of understanding the personalities as I call them of each medication and um, that I will talk you through but essentially they work really really well they're really really safe um, most people find they're quite helpful um, the guidance if you try one give it a good trial so I would say two or three months um, a good going dose if that doesn't work chop and change to another one again a good trial if that doesn't work then you can try a non SSRI medication um, the SSRIs don't just work on serotonin but they basically do mainly um, they um, as I say are very safe all medications that affect the brain have a small risk of serotonin syndrome or um, neuroleptic malignant syndrome look those up exam questions love them it's really really rare but I always tell my patients that there is a very small chance of this very serious side effect. If they feel very unwell, they should go to hospital as they would normally and they can be treated there. The treatment for that is supportive, so it's really important they get to, to hospital. So they work really well, they're nice and safe. Um, side effects, I'd look them up, I'm not gonna list them all now. Um, they tend to take two weeks to have any effect four to six weeks to have the full effect really, well four to six weeks to work and six weeks to have the full effect. You start low, you increase slowly. Um, people often feel, uh, have some side effects as their body gets used to it, I guess, in the first five to seven days. If those side effects don't go away in five to seven days, I tell my patients to tell me. No one should ever stop taking SSRIs suddenly because you get what's called the serotonin uh, the SSRI withdrawal syndrome is not going to hurt you, it's not dangerous, but it can cause electric shock sy symptoms or sensations. You can feel quite sick, generally flu-like symptoms. Um, as I say, it's not bad for patients in terms of it doesn't, it's not dangerous, but it can make them feel pretty rotten for five to seven days after stopping. If someone misses more than two days worth of doses, you take SSRIs in the morning. Um, if they miss two mornings worth, then they need to, it's assumed that they've stopped taking it and have to be retitrated because of the effect on the blood.